Hey guys, and welcome back to Time's Ticking, your number one source for unique horological content. My name is Jake, and in today's episode, I'm gonna be talking about a history that often gets overlooked in today's industry. However, in recent years, they've been making a big comeback. So, without further ado, let's talk about the history of British watchmaking. While in today's time, we are mostly familiar with the quality of Swiss watches. However, back in the 1800s, this wasn't at all the case. In fact, half of the world's watches were produced by British watchmakers at the time. This was an astounding 200,000 pieces a year. But if the British were so great at making watches back in the days, then how come they're not known for it anymore? And what are some great examples for British watches? Well, let's find out. Actually, from 1650 to 1750, the British watchmaking industry was enormous and continuous advances were being made. British watchmaking has been incremental in many technical advancements, especially in Europe's journey to discover the rest of the world. It has actually been a major player in navigating across the oceans. Captain James Cook namely used a British chronometer to help him navigate his journeys to Hawaii, the east coast of Australia, and New Zealand. But that is not the only major breakthrough during the time of British watches. A Yorkshire clockmaker, John Harrison, finally figured out how to determine longitude at sea back in 1759. It was tested and found out to be incredibly accurate on two transatlantic journeys in the 1760s. The value of these marine chronometers was incredible, about a third of the ship's cost. Because of their high value and high pricing, not all sailors could afford one. That's why they were shared amongst a group of ships who sailed together. Unfortunately, the 200,000 British watches made per year in the 1800s had dropped to merely 100,000 only a century later. And no, this is not because the British simply did not care anymore or had dropped the craft of making pristine watches. It actually has to do with Henry Ford. So how does Henry Ford and his cars fit into the equation, you ask? Well, both the United States and Switzerland were more engaged into mass producing, using the Ford car manufacturing process as an example. Moreover, the United Kingdom were getting involved in multiple wars, meaning the skills of the watchmakers were actively being used for the creation and development of weaponry and other war machines. So, while the British were busy battling their world wars, Switzerland and the United States kept developing their watches, eventually taking over the British's expertise. The British watchmaking actually made a small comeback after the end of World War II. However, when courts came, this was quickly crushed. However, the British innovations in clockmaking are still astounding, with some innovations still being used in today's watches. This includes innovations from Thomas Tompion, George Graham, and Thomas Mudge. So, now that we know the history behind British watchmaking, it's time to discuss the notable and famous brands that we still know today, because Switzerland isn't the only one who can make high quality watches. In fact, the British watchmaking industry is growing again, being described as energetic. So, perhaps we will be seeing much more British watches in the years to come. Let's look at the three most prominent British watch brands that we know today. Roger Smith. These mechanical watches are handmade by one of George Daniel's protégés. And if you don't know who George Daniel is, he's actively known as the 20th century's greatest watchmaker. These watches are then also made in the master's old workshop, and they are of incredible quality. There is a waiting list of over two years as the brand only produces 10 watches every year. The second brand is Looms & Co a typically British watch brand founded by Robert Looms. Using components from local producers, the brand is an expert in making an incredibly British watch, for which they have actually also won an award with their Everest model. The third brand is Vertex. Vertex used to be the official watch brand used to be worn by the British military. Unfortunately, being affected by the 1972 quartz crisis, production on the brand stopped. Thankfully for us, the founder's great-grandson relaunched the brand in 2016, focusing on luxury mechanics. They have most definitely not forgotten where they came from, as they keep producing iconic watches of military grade. These are some incredible watch brands with great backstories. However, the British watchmaking industry is booming with newer brands making their entrance, such as Bremont and Speak Marine. 
both founded in 2002, or Christopher Ward, which was founded in 2004. Or have a look at the G10 model by the Cabot Watch Company, also abbreviated as simply CWC, which is the current watch worn by the British Army. So now we know what is going on in the British watchmaking industry. It's unfortunate that it ended how it did. However, with the industry booming again, we might just start to hear more and more about authentic British watches. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, make sure to give it a like, and if you'd like to see more content from us, you can subscribe right here. And as always, if you need any help repairing your watch, the link to our website is right here. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.